hi and welcome to this channel today's tutorial will create a post like and comment system in firebase so we can see different posts so for our post i can create a random post this is a random a random post so without selecting any of the color the system picks a random background when i click the button post so we can see a random post or if I want to set background example with custom background I can select any of the background let me pick blue and post so we can see and then we can like we can comment this is a comment We can see other posts. We can see other posts. We can see other posts and that. Let's do this in schedule. So, if you need more tutorials, you can come to our website blog. If you need the textual, text, textual, sorry, the textual tutorial, the textual project, you can come over to our website and see our project articles. So let's start in schedule. We first enable our Firebase, our Firebase configuration. So we first enable our Firebase library. After doing that, after our app has been connected, if you have not be able, you have no idea how to connect your project to Firebase, you can check the video description. I will drop the link on how. A link to the video on how to connect your project to Firebase. So then the next thing I'm going to do is I add a progress bar, add a progress bar for loading. And um, my I'm signing in as anonymous. I'm not using email. You can decide to use any login. In my text, I sign in as anonymous. So in our create, what I do is I add the back button. You can see the back button. In my project, I'm going to add, add it, add it using this code. I add code to add back button. Now, if login, we just head over to our main activity, which is our home activity, where we can see all posts. But if it's not login, we tell the user to sign in. When the user clicks sign in. We've hide our button and display our progress bar and then we use the signing anonymous before we can see this signing block we need to add this component from our firebase authentication m or is what i use you can use anything doesn't matter so once signing we listen to signing complete so if signing complete and successful we go to our activity our home activity or we toast the error message i will show it as a toast message to the user so now in our home i add a recycler view which is used to show data in list format so for this page my data will be in vertical format with my progress bar and i add a far button we can add far button this way now in our own create i also added my own resume we hide our our own back button in our from our tuba and then we add a firebase component also m on authentication and firebase database for saving data user info and post so i'm using post post and then i first stop listening I stop listening to Firebase post. The, why I do this is because I I don't want to always be updating the data when no needed, as this will consume user data number one and make the application to slow down. And it's also bad when the user when there is a lot of data in the Firebase storage and we're always refreshing. It will cause a lot of slowdown, server slowdown, as the case may be. So we set our layout manager. Our layout manager in our on resume to 
so I created a list map list map which will handle our recycler view and then I bind my recycler view to a home view in our custom layout which is our custom view so we can see all the views inside inside here I will be sharing the project so we can we can use the project now in our online custom view I set my test which is the post test and optionally I set the background background color with data from Firebase so now so next I check the I collect the list of likes the number of likes from our Firebase from each post and then I check if the length of likes if the likes is more than zero then we set our information if not we remove our like text view then we check if you you the user like the post if you like the post then we should mark it as like checked or if you don't like it that means unlike so in our comment section i just get the length of comments the list by using this so i created a list map a list map comments list comments list and a list string likes likes list list string as you can see so once the user click i use this block to go to our post activity so we can see the post and comment on the post and like the post so this just bring out so in our post activity in our post activity in our own create i get the data is the data from our recycler view in our previous activity in our home activity i still stop listening to to i stop listening to firebase data and then we move our send button because there is no text to send and then our recycler view i'm using a linear layout manager i created some variables our color code to get the color code our post key because we we'll use the post key to update you it when the user likes and comments so i also check if the user like the post just like in our recycler view we should set the we should get the number of likes which is the length of the list which is the length of the list from here length of the list from here else we should remove the like text view and if the current user has liked the post we should mark it as like else we should mark it as unlike and then we check if the user of comment if there's a comment at all whether user comment or not if there's a comment at all we set the we get the length of comments else we hide the comments so now i'm going to be listening to the post I'm going to listen to the post for changes so for this project i'm only listening to unchild changed there's no need of unchild added since in my own creator i've already got in the data so no need of unchild added again it's only on child change that we need so in my own child changed i'm still doing the same thing the only difference is of using our map data from our recycler view i'm using our on child underscore child value which is this which is this so that is the difference in the on create and the on child added on child change sorry so now in our own text change we are checking if the user write a text at all if the user writes a text at all then we can allow the user send if not there's no need of sending an empty text so when the user click on like we check if the user actually like the post if he like the post then it means we, he wants to unlike the post and then we set the image as this and then we remove the data from our list and update our firebase value with our new list string so i created two list string sorry one list string like list likes likes list and a list map comment comment list and they have a color code and I created three map variable. Why I created three map variable? One is the 
is to get the data from our recycler view in our previous activity. Comment map is to update our comment list map. What our update map is to update the data in our file base. As you can see, how I did it here. So now let's see our comment list, our comment map in action. So we set one user click send. We hide it so the user does not send twice. And then we update our comments list before sending the list to our file base. Then we we set our text view, our edit text, which is where the users used to comment as empty. Now in our brand custom view, we check if the comment, if the comment, if the commented is actually the person that is the current user. If the comment is the current user, then we check, we set it as you, or we pass the UID. So we can see our comment recycler view, our comment recycler view, so our comment view, which is this. So now in our create activity, I added an edit text, our recycler view, but this will be an horizontal recycler view, our post button. So now in our create, I add some color code, all these are not necessary, but you can add for, for more configuration and styling, our color codes, and then we add our data to our recycler view. Then in our back press, we go back to our home activity since we are not making any post. When we click post, we add new data. We first check, we make sure before adding data that the user is not posting our empty data. If the user is not posting our empty data, then we capture random, random background from our recycler view. We can see our background, our background, we can see our background here. So we capture our random background. From our recycler view, our recycler view, we capture a random background, then we post post it to our activity and then we finish the activity. We post it to our file base and finish our activity. So once the user click on any background, user wants to use a custom background, then what we do is we save it to a string variable called color code, color code, color code. So this we set our background to the color code we added in our create. Why this? This is to remove empty space. Remove empty space in our recycler view. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please like, subscribe and share. This project SWB5 will be uploaded to our telegram channel. So you can come to our telegram channel and get this video thank you for watching please subscribe